Hey, good day, folks. Uh, welcome to Money Me. I do appreciate your support. And uh, my name is Pat Dees. In full disclosure, I'm not a licensed broker. This is not a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any stocks. It's really just to show you I'm a everyday guy that's uh, has been trading the market, investing in the market, doing options, um, stocks for the past 20 plus years, show you the ups and downs. Uh, my thought process, what I go through, when I think I'm going to... But I do think it's important to talk about money. This channel, we talk about all things money. Uh, prob a lot's geared towards the stock market, but uh, I've made a decision a couple months ago to kind of go full force back into doing um, these videos and keep them, keep them around 15 minutes. I went live uh, the other day and um, came across a stock, and that's I decided to I'm going to do the stock of the day. And the stock of the day today is Build a Bear. And man, sometimes when you when you know, it's always like, well, we always could have hypothetically and stuff. But sometimes those opportunities, um, you have to learn from them. I think you have to. Uh, evaluate things and look for opportunities that do exist and uh, when the market does get crappy like it's been lately um, on certain stocks is that an opportunity or is that maybe you stay on the sideline so um, build a bear basically I found it was mentioned I was looking up some uh, buddy that I follow on Twitter and um, it had just recently got upgraded uh, at a thirty thirty three dollar target and today, as you can see, and if you guys are curious, this is my desktop screen that I'm using um, when I'm recording this. And this is the Weeble desktop app. Now, Weeble doesn't cost nothing. And um, I put the link in the description below. Uh, last year, I signed up for Weeble and got two free stocks. And um, actually, Zigna was one of them, and uh, just got bought out the other day at nine bucks. So it's not you're not get it's not a get rich thing uh, if you do get lucky and get a. a $200 stock, you're lucky. Most of the stocks that you do get for free are, uh, you know, $5, $10, and stuff like that. But in the description, if you guys want to sign up for Weeble, it's um, you click that, that referral link of mine. I get free stock for referring you, and you get free stock. So uh, it'd be great to get some free stock. You know, one of the things that I'm going to do is when I hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel and we're monetized, as soon as we're monetized, we're going to give... Uh, monetize basically means you, you, you know like I get paid for people to it doesn't cost you guys nothing to subscribe but what happens is advertisers go on the videos advertisers go on there now I guess but Google only you know they keep all the money so they're not sharing it with me and um, I really want to do honestly five videos a week on this channel uh, a lot of times I, I do have another channel and uh, I'm a reseller in uh, in real life I sell on Amazon and eBay and you know do those types of things and um, I have a background in uh, restaurants I used to own four restaurants and so I've been an entrepreneur for 20 plus years and have worked for other people in the past so and not to say that I haven't worked for other people and don't know what it's like and stuff so but I have a, a background in, in being a landlord uh, stock trading business employees so um, buying houses and so I, I, uh, I understand a lot um, and have experienced a lot uh, when it comes to things with money good and bad so the, the, this is my hope is that this channel basically you know we're not looking to sell no you know hundred dollars come and sign up with me type deal and uh, you know and I'm, oh, I'm not saying I'm running a six million dollar account um, I have two sons that I manage 401ks uh, IRAs have done very well for them on that uh, their stocks and um, accounts I do different things there's accounts I only do stocks and there's some I don't do shorts there's some I do options and so you know I, I there's things that I do based on what the account is and what the risk tolerance is on those so let's get into build a bear came across it yesterday and as the thumbnail oh, oh man as the thumbnail points out Oh, let's go back. I'm going to show you this chart. Look at this chart. Look at this chart. Look at this chart. You see this? And this is what the thumbnail refers to. On April the 2nd, I mean, it shows a price of 
a dollar one uh is it april the, april the first april fool's day how about that april the first uh in a dollar uh well in that in that april first april sec of 2020 so basically when everything was shut down during the pandemic and people couldn't and if you're not familiar with build a bear let me read the profile build a bear workshop primarily operates specialty stores and provide a make your own stuff interaction entertainment uh with guests um I've only ever seen the Build-A-Bear as I go down to, uh, usually once every two years, I go down to Disney World, and we go down to, now it's it used to call it Downtown Disney, but Disney Springs, and um, we see the Build-A-Bear in a T-Rex restaurant down there, and then also I know I, I have a friend that sells Build-A-Bears on her they, she sells them online. Uh, I don't know if she sells them eBay, but she auctions them off. She gets them, and, and there's uh, people that buy from her. Some of them really can be um, worth a lot of money. It has approximately 355 corporate managed stores and 72 international franchise store. So let's let's real quick. Even and, and what I like to do when I do these is not give you basically a 15 seconds buy, sell, or hold because that's not what I'm about. I mean, there are there, in the future, I like to have maybe where people could call in and pre record something that hey, buy, sell, hold, what's your opinion on certain stocks and that, and I'll give my opinion on it. But um, this is more uh, of me looking at a stock and and why maybe I'm thinking about investing into it and what I'm going to do. and. Um, I made a decision last night looking at someone I was doing my live that I want to look deeper into this stock and I want to show you guys what I'm going to do and what my thought process whether I'm going to um, I'm not sure if I'm going to invest into it or not um, but it's looking tempting and I'll tell you why so you can't just make you know when you're going to invest I don't care if it's a thousand or two thousand if you're going to invest money into a stock and that's you know serious kind of money why would you, you know, you wouldn't go to the casino and just put $2,000 down on red or black or blackjack or buy into a game with, without, I mean, if you do, you're a gambler. But, I mean, there's obviously high rollers that do and stuff like that. But, uh, so, I will look into, well, why, 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 what makes me want to feel like I can make money with that stock? So, this is the type of wall, um... I'm not going to edit this or nothing like that. I'm uploading this and share with you guys. And I really hope you enjoy it. So let's click on their website, Build a Bear. And now it's pulling up on my other screen. So let's slide it over here. This is what pulled up. It's allowing all cookies. Yeah, we'll allow the cookies for that. It's asking me to sign up. But it's a, it's a nice looking site. Now it looks like it's, it's probably because of Valentine's Day coming up next uh, for February. <coughs> So not only can you buy in the store, apparently you can buy the bears and stuffed toys. And it's not just bears, because there's a rabbit, there's that um, Star Wars. Oh, you could do the recorder voice. So it's a, you know, it's a cute gift, I guess, that you can't, you know, pick up at your typical Walmart and, and personalize it. And I guess that's why people like it and, and they're not cheap the bears i mean look at that 38 dollars for that bear but you know it's something unique again and uh someone gets one they 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 probably hang on to it and you know keep it for for life so that is their website which is very obviously professionally done very well done now, i don't want to focus too long i want to focus i don't want to focus 10 minutes on the the website because it doesn't matter how good looking the website is really what matters is you know the 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 fundamentals the money <laughs> so the chart is going back and this is what the thumbnail refers to think about that april the april the first area um dollar one it shows in here when i saw it earlier i thought it was 95 cents but even still 95 cents a dollar one let's just say a dollar so simple math one thousand just to today is twenty thousand so five thousand dollars, which you know, hey, it's a lot of people will invest five thousand dollars into um, stocks at one time, and or you know, five thousand dollars in in basically under two years, uh, say twenty one months, would be worth a hundred thousand now. And not not too long ago, the stock was actually 
2350 and that was on January uh, oh it was so yeah it was up yesterday pretty it had a pretty big not yesterday because when I'm recording this I'm recording this on the 12th uh, late at night and it'll be this video will come out on the 13th so I figure the 11th which was you know yesterday of course when I'm taping but it had touched 2350 but immediately just sold right off uh, but you know one thing I like and I, you know everybody always talks about it but you know I'm not I'm not uh, I like technical charts in investors business daily but w what does that look like there what do they say that looks like a cup cup and is it forming the handle now and that makes it <clears throat> to me that makes it even more enticing that um, I'm interested in the in just because of the way that um, I mean look here it may, you know look like a sort of a cup handle broke out another and you know you could say well that one failed but yet look back here I mean if you go back even uh, in August it was 14 15, I mean still a nice return really seemed to break out uh, right here around May 26 2021 I mean it was getting accumulated I mean look look here even peaked up up here around eight dollars I mean for people that bought it at the one dollar range the year before but it's 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 been a it's been a nice steady increase looking at that chart and man you know so, so sometimes when 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 I'd say all oh, hell breaks loose with the stock market and people were throwing it out, and I, I remember that because I was helping another guy and we made some positions in um, accounts and and got into Kohl's, Viacom, and Disney, and uh, they all they all did very successful. There was a lot of stocks that got beaten up so bad. There was obvious winners that you could purchase and and did good. Your Netflix, your Amazons, and stuff like that. But you know, here's here's a company that and. Luckily that they didn't go out of business. Let's be honest. I mean, you know, you have your stores closed, and um, boy, I love to interview the CEO of that company and what they thought, and and really how the company was able to get through this. And you know, when you got all those locations, and you still got to pay certain amount of employees. I mean, I know the government set in to help protect, but a lot of those stores were closed for a while because people weren't getting out and about. So. The stock was uh, 20 bucks. Uh, let's look at the analysis. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's got a yeah. It, basically, it, well, it's a 100% buy right now, but it's only on one analyst. So let's not get. And they have a $33 target, which is basically a 55% upside. Uh, one thing I liked about the. Uh, let's look at the news here, and you know that's what's nice about this. Um, nice about this Weeble is you can really dig into stuff now I I use a bunch of before I'm just gonna buy into something I'm not just gonna rely on Weeble I'll go to CNBC let's like I'll pull up let me pull up CNBC here for you guys so here's CNBC and I'll slide it over 52 week range I mean 52 week uh, 52 weeks ago you could still bought this stock for four dollars and three cents even then, even even then, you're talking um, five, six times your money. What I like about it is the market cap is only three hundred and twenty-one million dollars. So um, that values each store roughly at around eight hundred thousand. But you know, a lot, of, a lot of the store they don't own the stores. Usually, they they. Um, rent them so boy I tell you and that's one of the things maybe I'll look into the futures uh, I have done interviews on my other channel uh, but I, I'd, lo I'd love to maybe interview these uh, get someone on like that to come in and uh, interview them for 10 or 15 minutes and really talk about how they saved the company or even how the company started if you guys would be interested in something like that so what I like is the the price times earning is is only nine earnings per share two two dollars and fifteen cents um, shares outstanding only sixteen million shares so I mean you're talking um, boy when it does get some buying you don't have a lot of uh, float out there as far as 
uh, what's available. But PE, in case you guys price times earnings, that means basically what they earn. You mo you know divide that into the stock price, and basically that. So basically that's nine. It trades at so at three hundred twenty one million dollars. It trades at nine nine years worth of earnings. Um, which is not a lot. I mean, there's big growth companies that trade at 50 to 100, and they trade at that because they have tr such tremendous uh, growth. You know, um, let's look. I'm going to pull up Yahoo, and here it was. Uh, there's a lot of uh, January the 4th. Bill the Bears got. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up Yahoo. What I like about Yahoo, again, I like looking at different. What the only thing that concerns me is, with the market is honestly is just. Um, I think this market's gonna be down this year. I think it's gonna be down 15 percent across the board. Um, but there's always gonna be opportunities. So I mean, if you look at Yahoo, they have a. Uh, Excuse me, a bearish pattern on the stock. It says for, as far as charts, but yet the short-term outlook, two week to six week, is 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 up. The six week to nine month, uh, the long term. So I mean, and again, it has that thirty thirty three dollar um, target, and they raised their guidance. So they raised again guidance for expected uh, tw the final the final results of twenty twenty one. And Zach says two weeks ago they feel that it's trading at a bargain. Okay, let's look at uh, statistics and look at their money. So here's where I'm looking at, like I said, the 52 week high is 23.50, 52 week low is 431. The moving average, the 50 day moving average, as long as we stay above that 1871, that's good. The flow, 11 million out of 16 million. 12% is held by insiders. That means people that work for the company. Okay, um, so the insiders hold 12%. I had to pause there for a second. 62% institutional. So basically, 74, 75% is you know being held. The short ratio is only 1%, 683. That's that's good. And actually, shorts have dropped. It was 915,000. Total cash, 48.5 million. 100. They don't have a lot of debt. Total cash per share. So things are looking, are looking good. And this is one of those companies that... Uh, you know, in the future, 355 stores is not a lot. I, I mean, obviously, I think they have to go into specialty places as far as, I think, was we in a Walmart recently and, and someone opened one up in there? But um, I think they're always good to go at places that there's obviously a lot of tr uh, captive audience uh, traffic as far as, I mean, going to Disney, those types of deals, you know, um, amusement parks, any, anywhere basically where... They can kind of brand it after, like they can make a Walt Disney Mickey Mouse or or something like that, and, and brand it. Um, let's look at oh annual quarter. That's a lot. Uh, I wonder why they would lock that. I don't like that they lock that. Yeah, it seems to be, like I said, it's coming back. I mean, obviously when they're shut down, the numbers aren't good.
net margins are around 9%. I mean, it's only got one analyst that follows it, but uh, earnings obviously are up because when it opened back up, And it's really it's it's and, and that's why it probably dropped the other day because looking at a five year chart, twenty three fifty, the stock was back around that price in twenty fifteen. And let's move this over here. So let's go let's go out like weekly. Yeah. So it was twenty three back in two thousand fifteen. Has it been that high? Yeah, so it looks like it just came public in, well, 2004 is still a long time ago. I mean, it's 18 years ago. Yeah, so really, uh, for a long time there, between 2008 and, dude, so for almost for four years, it was stuck in a range of 3 to $8, $9, in, at five to, really 5 to $10 range, and broke out in 2015 and obviously because of the shutdown luckily they survived it and uh, look at that look at that you know and the point in this video is not to say go and buy it like oh it's going to continue to go up because I don't necessarily believe that and also I, I always worry about that you got someone who was buying in here and the new buyers are buying from the old buyers and to the point where how much how much more growth is there but I like that it only trades at nine times earnings and as long as we don't really have no mass shutdowns again I still think it could do fine it's really one of those stocks that I'm, I mean I'm gonna look to put honestly small count only gonna probably look to put a thousand or two thousand dollars into it and see where it goes really see where it goes so let me look at one more you know again a lot and I, I was I was gonna pull up another chart but it doesn't really matter because it shows it here really we need to, it we now we need it to clear 2350 and we need it to hold uh, the 200 day moving average is 16 um, so we need to make sure it does and break below any uh, any of that then then it's gonna, you know, not 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 be good. But you know, you, you got to fully understand risk and and uh, what you're getting into stocks. But I like it. I am going to get into it. I, like I said, about a thousand or two thousand dollars. I'm always looking for stocks that even at thirty percent, I you know, um, the one account as the stock account grows, there the I don't want to have twenty different stocks. Otherwise, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just put the money in a mutual fund. Typically, a mutual fund gives you ten to twelve percent return over a ten year period. I mean, there are obviously because of 2020 and a lot of people bought in the right time. There were stocks that had even you know thirty, fifty percent. Everybody's always well, you know, I put a thousand dollars into Tesla and it turned into three thousand a year. Those are those are rare circumstances. But you know, if you can make a thirty percent return on your stock portfolio, you pretty much can double your money every two and a half years and. You're not getting 30% in the bank, and 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 I'll talk about that in the future on another video. How 30%, you know, over 10, 20 years, it, it can grow to a tremendous amount of money. Now you're you're going to have stocks, and I I have them. I have stocks that are up 40, 50%. I got stocks that are down 50%. Um, what we're talking about is overall that account or that portfolio. Um, you know the the total return I try to find stocks that can give me 10 percent returns for the quarter and sometimes I'm in and out uh, I mean if I if I bought this tomorrow at 2000 like for example two thousand dollars and made 30 percent uh, and a 30 percent move would basically put it at 26 bucks uh, um, in the next three or four months I, I would consider selling it and, and see what happens you know maybe it pulls back and um, I get back in and I do that I mean a lot of times certain stocks You'll you'll see that some of them will trade within a five to seven dollar range, and it's like, you know, it go from sixty to fifty five, fifty five to sixty, sixty to 50, you know, that back and forth, and 
um, does that always work? No, because there's those moments in time that news or something happens and it you you buy it at 55 and all of a sudden it's 50 next week. So let let's not fool anybody on that. This is going to be a tricky market this year. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities to make money on upside and the downside. So hey guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, build a bear, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get involved into it. Uh, not sure yet because I'm watching the market and I got to see what my free cash is. But uh, as long as it holds in this, and if it breaks above, if I don't buy it, uh, this is the, about the range. I want to buy it between 18 and 21. That's really where I want to buy it at. Obviously, if I get it for 18, it's, that's two dollars cheaper than now. Uh, we get those days where you get you get a crazy day sometimes. And that's where you want to keep a certain amount of cash. You get crazy days all of a sudden when the market's down 1,500 points and. You know, all of a sudden, you know, then you're looking at the, you know, there are, those are opportunities sometimes just to jump in there and, and buy it and, and sometimes become short-term trades. So I hope you like this. If you guys could give me a comment below and a like and subscribe and share this out. When we get to 1,000 subs, again, we are going to give out stock. And um, have a great day. Bye.